hi Kylie. Hi, Andrew. I'm a little bit fired up. Um, and I get that way around Tag Heuer because it's like they just plug an electrical cord in your leg. This is an electric brand that's colourful, dynamic and different to the brands around it. Marcus, just do a little sweep. So when you look around the halls, I'm going to stand behind you. When you look around the halls at Watches and Wonders, what do you see? You see a lot of eggshell, a lot of white, a lot of off-white, the bone, the ivory, the beige. This is a conservative environment and then boom, what do you see with Tag Heuer? It's almost like George yeah. Bamford just electrifies it. It is a different environment. They've got these rotating shields. They've got the colors of their latest campaign, which is that beautiful Ryan Gosling drive campaign reflected through the shields. What do you think? How does it make you feel? There's so much good energy in here. It makes me feel like Tag Heuer is all about the color, all yeah. about the racing, and obviously, it feels like a movie set, I feel like. It does, Could I know. Could be a bit of a movie star. I've got to put one of those chairs up. The first spot I want to land today is over there because this whole display is about the Carrera. It's 60th, 60th birthday. 60th birthday. Let's go see where the story started. Let's. So Carly, tell me a story. We're here with some of the most desirable Carrera vintage pieces ever. Yeah. So the story starts in 1950 with a race that inspired Jack Hoyer, the Pan Americana Carrera that went from Mexico up to the US. A deadly race, really. Every, everybody died. Well, everybody died. <laughs> that inspired the 3336 reference, which then evolved into the 2447, which inspires the collection today. And of course, Jack Hoyer, inspired by that race, took the name Carrera to name that collection. Marks, have a look. So the white one here in the middle, that's a 2447. You're gonna ref you're gonna recognize this from some of those glass box vintage <laughs> models with a Hoyer too. <laughs> I'm coughing. It's the dust off the vintage models. So you're gonna recognize this, but it has evolved into something very different over here. So Kylie, in the gleam of this red 911 Carrera, we have the two new hero models for the glass box Carrera 39 mil. Tell me about them. Well, these are the watches that really celebrate the 60 years of Carrera. And the story here is that amazing glass box crystal, which improves the legibility of the dial. The other thing that I really love about this one, Andrew, is the fact that the dial has a real three-dimensional feel to it. It, does. it jumps never, off the dial. You have never seen a dial like this. It goes like this up into a skateboard ramp, and then it curls over and has a lip. And on the downside of that lip is the tachometer scale. And on the inside of that lip, if I look again, is yep. the minute track. Yep. So we really have this unusual design. And then the glass box just marries that shape with a micron of air between yep. it. So it is not actually snug to the glass, which gives you this glass bezel effect. Yep. It's it, honestly, it's challenging. It's strange. I'm starting to really warm to it. <laughs> now, there's a little bit more thickness to this than the vintage piece. So it's a little bit thicker because it's an automatic movement. The original was manual wound. And obviously, the glass box crystal gives it that bit extra height. And it gives you those vintage vibes. I stole your line. Yes, I did. That's not the only way to play with Carrera. In this space, how would you describe this space? This space feels like a really cool garage. Yeah, it's a man cave yeah. mixed with a movie set. There's this scaffolding around. But what we have placed around this, this little garage is all the ways you can play with Carrera, including... Ah, oh, this piece, a beautiful tourbillon piece for Tag Heuer. This is the first tourbillon that they've included in a more kind of classic piece. Yes. Usually the tourbillons go into the... The you know, really contemporary yeah. angular large cases. This is only 42 mil. It's yes. in that same glass box style. People are loving this because you're getting a tourbillon again with that vintage classic style wristwatch yes. as opposed to the really muscular, angular, bigger cases that we've seen them That's in. That's right. And the tourbillon, the glass box crystal means that you can see right into the tourbillon cave yeah. as well. It creates a little bit of distortion, yes. creates a little bit of magnification. But if vintage isn't your thing, there's a whole other range of Carreras for all tastes. We have the 42 uh, millimeter automatic chronograph here. I love that color scheme. Oh, it's fantastic, isn't it? It makes it, it lets you know that this is a racing watch. It is a watch of racing heritage, and that gradient orange love rim it. around it is it, fabulous. It almost looks like it changes, but it isn't. It's a solid flared uh, gradient from like a racing orange to yeah. some other type of orange, burnt orange, I don't know. <laughs> That's right, and an in-house movement in that one. Great, yes. and we, yes, we have this more conservative uh, automatic chronos here. We have these racing chronos here with a tachometer scale really on, the, sporty. on the bezel. Yeah. Let's keep going. These little numbers, very contemporary. Uh, these are these are real showstoppers, mostly because they're very bold, daily wear, 36 millimeter watches, yep. perfect unisex watch, uses the caliber seven on the inside. Um, 
but a tapered bracelet, so it's going to be a much more comfortable wear. I think this is just a beautiful watch. It shows, All the colours too. It certainly shows that there's more than one way to slice a Carrera. Indeed. Let's keep going. Oh, hey, yep. No, we're taking a little time out here because this is a huge part of the Carrera story, which mm. is the way that Tag Heuer are working with uh, actors, including Aussie Jacob Elordi. G'day, Jacob. And Ryan Gosling to bring to life this Carrera story. So this is a trailer for a story, a movie that Ryan wrote and starred in. Should we just go to a trailer And now? directed. And directed. Yeah, in Australia. Hey, do you like a bit of Ryan? I love a bit of Ryan. Oh yeah, man, great. I love me some Ryan. Yeah, there we go. Let's just get off my lawn, let's yeah. watch. <laughs> so this is the first time in my life, Carly, I've thrown <laughs> to an empty vitrine. There's a reason for that, because it describes this piece mm. as a masterpiece. Why would it be so bold? Well, it's one of the avant-garde pieces from Tag Heuer, the plasma diamond set piece. Um, just simply beautiful, comes with diamonds, but also comes in multicolored gemstones as yep. well. So the reason it's missing, Andrew, is because I nicked it. <laughs> no, this is the first time, we, last year we were introduced to the plasma, which mm. had these lab uh, created diamonds in the case. Now yes. the diamonds are sort of expanding. Yes. They've gone into the, the first few links again in this sort of shattered, exploded pattern. This is, a, again, the, as you said, so perfectly, it brings mm. the AG into the Tag Heuer, yes. which is Technique Avant-Garde. Yes. And uh, it's, it's a bit of a shock to the system after seeing so many vintage Carreras. Well, speaking of change-ups, I think we should head this way because I've clocked some pretty nice models around nice here. Nice pun, I'll pay that. Yes, pay yes, it. Yes, there is a change-up. We have the Aqua Races <laughs> here. We don't have time to go through every single model, but we have new two-tone aqua races. Yeah, new solid gold. With, with new calibers. We have new uh, solid gold. We also have the super divers here yeah. for seriously deep diving. <laughs> we have the connected uh, collection still continuing here. The golf watch is so awesome. Oh, so good. Back over here, my favorite, the Monaco. We have new versions of the Monaco. Hopefully more coming this yeah, year. I think it's gonna be a big year. It is Formula One here. And lastly, the bar. Kylie, why yeah. would Tag Heuer have a bar this big, <laughs> pumping this hard at 11 in the morning? Because Tag Heuer, Tag Heuer I should say, knows exactly who they are. Yep. They're fun, they're social, they're energized, yep. they're colorful, and yep. they're ready to have a drink with you they and are. I. They are, let's do it. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank it's, you. It's Excellent. five o'clock in Australia, I think. I is don't it? know. I have no idea. Champagne o'clock at somewhere. It in the is. World. So you know what, Kylie? When I turn sixty, mm. I want to be as cool as a Carrera. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I think you're already as cool as a Carrera. Don't oh, worry. That's nice. Maybe when you turn sixty, I'll buy you a Carrera. Done. Sealed on camera. Cheers. <laughs>